the word of God is quite clear. We can lose our souls. We can lose our souls. I will ask some questions to refresh us about our understanding about Catholic teaching. The first question is, what is the soul? Actually, the question is wrong itself. Because the question should be, who is the soul? Because the soul is you. You are not your body. You are not your beautiful face. How your soul is, is how you are. And therefore, how your soul is reveals the real person that you are. We take so much time exercising, toning muscles, beautifying the face, dyeing the hair, going to the beauty parlor, asking the doctor to keep you healthy. But what are you doing for your soul? Because there will come a time when this body will die, but the soul's destiny is forever. So, the second question is, but then how do you lose your soul? How is the soul lost? And the answer is this, when you go against God, it is called sin. When you go against yourself, it is also called sin. When you go against other people, it is also called sin. So the question, how do you lose your soul? By going against God, going against yourself, and going against other people. In other words, you lose your soul by sin. So who is my soul? The third question. The third, the third question is answered by saying, your soul is your life. If you want to be a theologian, you can say, your soul is the power of life within you. Your soul is the power of unity within you. Anong ibig sabihin po noon? Kapag humiwalay ang kaluluwa sa katawan, patay. At ang nagbibigay ng buhay sa atin ay hindi hininga ng baga. Ang nagbibigay ng buhay sa atin ay hindi bugso ng dugo ng puso. Ang nagbibigay ng, pag, ng kapangyarihan at buhay sa atin ay ang kaluluwa. So when you lose your soul, when your soul is separated from your body, you die. Next question. But how can you regain your soul? How can you regain your soul? By only one answer. You can only regain your lost soul through Jesus Christ. Only by Jesus Christ. Now, if, if you want Jesus Christ to restore your soul, if you want Jesus Christ to regain your lost soul, what must I do? There are four steps to take. Number one, be honest. Wag nang magpalusot. Wag nang magpaliwanag kahit sa pulis. Wag mo nang sabihin sa presinto na tayo magpaliwanag. Wala nang magagawa. You just have to be honest because when our life is over, no lawyer can defend you. When your life is over, no lie, no fake news can defend you. Because the Lord will just say, I was there when you were doing it. Stop pretending. I saw you. I saw you. I saw everything. First step, be honest. If you want to put it negatively, there is no forgiveness for the dishonest. There is no forgiveness for those who pretend. The second step is pray. Pray for forgiveness. And the Lord will always respond 
But the third step that you must take is return. Return, atone. Hindi pwedeng magnakaw, humingi ng tawad, at hawak mo pa rin yung ninakaw. Hindi pwedeng magsinungaling, humingi ng tawad, at hindi mo sasabihin pa rin yung totoo. Hindi pwedeng mga liwa sa asawa, hindi pwedeng magsamantala ng kapwa-tao, hihingi ka ng tawad, at hindi ka titigil sa pangangaliwa. Be honest, ask forgiveness, stop it. And then, the fourth is change your life. Change direction. If you have been going, going this side, go the opposite side, the side of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, we can regain our soul through Jesus Christ. And by the power of the Eucharist, even our small sins can be forgiven. But there is a deadly sin. There is a deadly sin that really causes the death and the loss of your soul. And in our Catholic teaching, it is called mortal sin. Ang ibig sabihin po ng mortal ay kamatayan, namamatay. Ang ibig sabihin ng mortal sin, kamatayang nakakamatay, hindi sa katawan, kundi sa iyong kaluluwa. What are mortal sins? Mortal sins are those indicated simply in the Ten Commandments. Kung gusto niyong magka-exception, senior citizen, may discount ka, 20%. Kung gusto mo ng special favor, PWD ka, meron kang special favor. Meron ka discount. Kung gusto mo na malibre, sabihin mo, estudyante, may discount sa pamasahe. Pero, walang discount sa Ten Commandments. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, matanda na ako, walo na lang. At hindi rin natin pwedeng sabihin, bata ka pa, 12 para sa iyo. Regardless of who we are, there are only Ten Commandments, there is no exception, it is good for everybody, it is a demand for everybody. So back to the question, are you still alive? Or have you lost your soul?